General Gandal, order you to protect this forge. Carry out my orders immediately. A forge? So the Vega have moved their infernal factories here. I won't allow these brutes to produce reinforcements on Earth. I'll destroy the central generator. That should start a chain reaction. Good idea, Daisuke. But watch out for that excess energy. That's done and dusted. What do you think, Father? Congratulations, Daisuke. But let's stay vigilant. If the Vega invade another region, we'll have to explore it to see if they've built any similar structure. You can count on me. I won't allow this General Gandal to lay waste to the Earth with his facilities.
The Vega have no respect. Even temples will not be spared from their invasion. I won't let Vega deface sacred Mount Fuji.
This is Major Otter. May I ask who I'm dealing with? Where I come from, I'm known as Grindizer. But I don't have time for introductions now. Your fellow citizens need you, Major Otter. An entire city is in danger. Right. We'll handle that. But we're running out of fire support. All you have to do is follow my orders. With all due respect, Major, we have a common enemy. But Grindizer doesn't take orders from anyone. Your men can do the job. I understand your distrust. As a token of my goodwill, I can share with you that we received a distress signal from a certain terrestrial flying object. A friend of yours, perhaps? He can't be far away. I'll try to find the TFO. But I won't forget your help, Major. Curses. That Koji is nowhere to be found. Keep your cool, Daisuke. We have one more trick up our sleeves. Major Ota was talking about a signal. The radio tower in this area might have intercepted it too. Unfortunately, it is not responding. I'll head over there. The tower may be able to help us triangulate the position of the terrestrial flying object. Radio tower. It's under attack. Look out. The invaders are coming back. Don't worry, I'm not with them. But I need your help. You do? But I'm just a humble tower operator. Exactly. And did you receive a distress signal from a man named Koji? On board the terrestrial flying object? Yes, I did. It was coming from the big city over there, but we lost it almost immediately. I'll go check it out. Thanks. Wait a minute. Our network of radio towers covers the entire archipelago. If you ever need to move around, we can help guide you. How about it? Together we're stronger. I'm in. Good luck, Daisuke. Don't forget, I'll... Vega, let's take a closer look. Geyser punch! They don't want to give this city up back to the game. Watch out! Monsters! I will not let you destroy the earth. Hey! 
Hello, young lady. Is everything okay? I knew you weren't like that big monster from earlier. What monster are you talking about? The one that fled into the mountains. It had a big yellow disc in its mouth. My dog thought it was a frisbee. <laughs> How could I not have thought of that earlier? Father, it was the saucer beast that grabbed the TFO. It must have taken it into their underground tunnels, all the way to the mountains. Let's hope Koji is safe. I'm looking after this little girl. Help is on the way. Thank you for your help, young lady. The firefighters are on their way. Stay here out of the way, okay? Okay. You're going to chase the monster away, right? I'll take care of it, don't worry. It won't be coming back anymore. This time, let's find Koji for good. Let's go, Daisuke. That saucer beast is close by. Still no sign of the TFO. I really hope that thing is solid. It's a state-of-the-art device, designed by Koji himself, based on NASA's UFO research. Uh-huh. Technology is one thing, but it doesn't replace pilots. Do you really think Koji managed to survive? Believe it or not, Koji knows about giant robots, too. If anyone could have survived such an attack, it was him. Why are the Vega on Earth? Why now? Could Koji have attracted them? As advanced as it is, I doubt a saucer like this would have been enough to bring them here. They're probably after our resources. We're getting closer. That monster can't be far away. Those footprints don't look good. Father, I found the TFO. But the ship looks wrecked. Quick, check if Koji is all right. Can, can 
anyone hear me? Professor? Are you there? Koji, good to hear you. Are you all right? I've been better. I've woken up to a monster and a giant robot. I don't know if I'm hallucinating or if my past is catching up with me. Keep an eye on the monster, but don't worry about the robot. Grendizer is on our side. Grendizer? You know it? It's a long story. Double heart hit. Koji, let's not wait for them to come back. Can you take off at all? Well, I'll try to. Okay, fine. Get what you can of the Saucer Beast technology, and meet us at the laboratory as soon as possible. Spazer jump! Spazer go! Spazer cross! Shoot out! We always see the same side of the moon from the Earth. We cannot monitor what is happening on the other side. Vega's troops have set up camp on the dark side of the moon, intent on conquering the rest of the galaxies. Greetings to you, Gandalf. I've just arrived. How dare you appear before me again? I beg your pardon, General. I didn't know that demon was on Earth. You fool! How did Prince Duke manage to defeat you when you command the armies of Vega? But you know he has Grendizer. That's what bothers me. As long as he has it, we can't rest. We must attack the Earth and destroy Grendizer. You're in charge, General. What is your decision? I refuse to fail the same as you, Blackie. If only he didn't have Grendizer. Gandalf. Why are you so quick to give up? You must get your revenge! 
You know you mustn't remain defeated, or you'll be demoted, like our dear Blackie. Aye, enough of this. Leave me in peace. I need to think of a plan to take over the Earth. Ah, Daisuke. Blackie is transmitting this radio message on all terrestrial frequencies. I smell a rat. Earthlings, it seems that your planet has more than just resources, because it is hosting a murder. The Prince of Fleed and his war machine, Grendizer. I order you to turn over this individual and his diabolical machine immediately, or we shall strike down your cities. We will begin with the cities of Japan, where Duke Fleed has been spotted. Fleed has hidden himself among you. He may look like you, but make no mistake. He is not one of you. If you are the ones hiding him, the fate of Japan and the whole world rests in your hands. As for you, Prince Duke, surrender immediately or you will see another world burn down around you. My goodness, that Vega officer has a lot of nerve. But would you rather I call you Duke? That is your Fleetian name, after all. Not everyone has made the connection yet between Grindizer, Duke Fleet, and Daisuke. Let's try to keep it a secret for now, shall we? You're right. Let's be careful, Duke. I mean, Daisuke. Speaking of which, you should go see Aoi to confirm that the Vega are indeed retreating. His radar never lies. By the way, congratulations on your exploits at Mount Fuji, Daisuke. It was no easy task to beat up such a monster. Looks like the radar went silent. Finally, some good news. Go see Yamada. I think he has another one just for you. Your trip to Mount Fuji was very inspiring, Daisuke. And the pieces of this saucer beast did the rest. Here's what I suggest you do to improve Grandizer. It's done. You might want to tell your father about these modifications, though. You'll find him in the infirmary at Koji's bedside. You did well. There you are, my son. It's good to see you. How is Koji? Better, I think. He's sleeping now. Are you sure? <sighs> yeah, he's asleep. Do you know that Blackie has made contact again? Unfortunately, yes. Akira played me his message. That monster doesn't waste any time. Everything I feared is coming true. The war didn't stop with Fleet. It's already here. Fleet? 
The war? What's all this about? So you pilot this robot, don't you? Grendizer. That machine is called Grendizer. Father. How long did you think you could hide the truth from him, Daisuke? Professor, explain yourself. Two years ago, I took in Daisuke, Duke Fleed by name. That was my first contact with extraterrestrial life. It could have been the best day of my life. But when Duke explained to me what Fleed was, what had become of it, I preferred to keep his existence a secret. And you consider him your own son? I adopted him. Duke was able to escape because of Grandizer. His parents and his family were not so lucky. It was my duty to offer him a new life here on Earth, as it is my duty to protect this planet. It's our duty, Father. We'll protect the Earth together. There's no time to lose. I must thwart Blackie's plans. Wait. I'm coming with you. I don't need help from a kid. A kid? Come out and fight. You'll soon see I'm not a kid anymore. Silence, boys. Koji, you seem to be doing better. But if we want you to stay in one piece, we'll have to arm the TFO and do it together. As for you, Daisuke, you have a secret identity to protect. Go back to the ranch and put on a brave face for Dambe. We'll meet again tomorrow. All right. I'll go back to the Makiba family ranch. And I hope you get better soon, Koji. I'll be all right. I don't plan on letting you go alone. A few days later, at the Makiba family ranch. The earth is in danger, but I'll defend it. It's forests, meadows, flowers, and the sweet air we breathe. I don't want it to become a dead planet. Big robot, Daisuke? Oh, wow, I'd love to meet him. Aliens, you got it coming! Oh, now Mr. Daisuke deigns to leave off playing his beloved guitar to help us. <laughs> we got a lot of work to do, young man. It's been days since your father introduced us to his new protege. But that Kochi lad is hardly more helpful than you are. This pilot only has eyes for his saucer. Hikaru was counting on you to help him do some digging. My daughter is waiting for explanations. I hope you have a good excuse, you little rascal. Don't play the same tricks on me as the last few days, Daisuke. Old Dambe gave me all your work. Next time you sneak out, <laughs> I'll rat you out. I warn you. Hello, Hikaru. Forgive me for the last few days. I haven't been up to scratch. I'll make it up to you, I promise. It's all right, Daisuke. At least, unless you want to talk to Goro for me. He's been playing tricks on me lately. Is that so? But Goro is usually such a good kid. Yes, he is. Unfortunately, since he met Koji, he's only looking to the stars. I'm afraid that he'll become just like his father. Will you talk to him? I know he'll listen to you. No problem, Hikaru. I'll talk to him. Koji! Koji! Koji is so 
great. He's got a saucer just like those naughty aliens, except that his is now firing missiles. Those poor Vega don't stand a chance. He promised he'd take me for a ride with him after his next mission. Easy, Goro. Hey, what mission are you talking about? What? He didn't tell you? Koji went to the laboratory to take stock of the situation with the professor. You should go and check out the new firepower. Dad won't let me go out since the invasion. Well, I'll go see what's going on. But you should try to be calmer, Goro. You can't play with fire without burning yourself. Now go help your sister, okay? By the way, did you get a chance to make a list of all the sports competitions around here, like you promised? With or without Dad say so, I'm gonna enter. I hope you're still investigating the case of the missing cows, Daisuke. I won't let anyone loot our cattle. If you ever find our thief, let me know. I got a rope handy for him. Squeak! I didn't tell you anything that wasn't true. Some genius already opened the chain of restaurants based on that big robot. Hey, can you give me their menu? I could do with some inspiration. <laughs> I was looking for you, Koji. I was told you were going on a mission. You could have told me. I could have, but I figured you weren't interested in the help of a kid. Come on, you know what I meant. If the Vega are plotting something new, two heads are better than one, no matter what. In that case, I should tell you that UFOs have been reported over the archipelago. But Akira also told me about a strange incident in the dam area. You should talk to him about it, right? I will. But I'm relying on you to wait for me. We must stick together, understand? Clear as crystal. What's the news, Akira? Koji mentioned some problems with the dam. Yes, he did. I've just received some disturbing information from our electrical facilities. Unfortunately, I'm not qualified to interpret it. But your father should be able to tell you. It's really very strange. If the Vega had gone on the attack, we would surely have intercepted distress messages. I'll get to the bottom of this. Don't you worry. Yamada gave me the data, father. And Koji told me about UFOs flying over the archipelago. Fill me in. I fear the worst. Your concerns are well founded, Daisuke. According to this report, one of our big dams could be damaged. This is no coincidence, nor is the presence of saucers over our islands. Fortunately, Koji left for a reconnaissance flight. But father, you know how dangerous the Vega are. That's right, my son. If we want to defeat them, we must stand together. But I trust your instincts. Which mission do you think is more important? We can investigate the dams? Or monitor Koji from the laboratory. On board the terrestrial flying object, he'll reach the archipelago in no time. Let me show them what I can do. I'm not going to let the Vega mess with me anymore. This time, Armed and dangerous. We're following your progress from the laboratory, Koji. Be careful. You bet, Professor.
missile launcher seems to be ready. Let's see how good the combat modules are that the professor installed. Tougher than that. These resorts are at the mercy of Vega troops. I've got to help them. Here come the reinforcements. Another big down. Oh no, I guess I hurt their feelings. For starters. That kid is doing an excellent job. Isn't that right, Daisuke? Yes. But the question is, how is he going to escape them? Hey, I can hear you, you know. This is my chance to prove myself. Put him up, ugly.
Professor, Daisuke, did you see that? I scared the life out of that big monster. It's getting away. Or maybe it has another target in mind. Professor, are you there? Koji calling the laboratory. Do you read me? Come in. My radio must have taken a hammering. It's not working. Better try landing and find out what's wrong. Meanwhile, at the Space Science Laboratory. There's nothing on my scope now. Koji isn't answering our calls anymore. Right. I'll go find him. Be careful, my boy. Duke Lee! Grandizer, go! Daisuke, something's happened to Koji. Either he's lost or he was shot down. I'm approaching his last position. I'll have to fly as close as possible to these islands. Do you think you can find him? I have to. Spin drill! Vega have deployed their units all over these islands. Fire. I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. Father, I can't find Koji anywhere. I'll scan the surface. Good idea. Your flight computer should help you. Spin drill! May the stars watch over Koji. I must find him. Spin drill. Spin drill. Still no trace of Koji. Let's try again. Spin drill. This young man has the annoying tendency of vanishing. Let's hope he's okay. But where could Koji have landed? Let's try over here. Spin drill! Yep, that's it. Near a volcano that's about to erupt, unfortunately. Blackie has turned nature against us. Get over to Koji. We'll need him. All right, Father. I'll give him a hand.
After getting out of the formidable Grandizer, Daisuke joins his intrepid fellow Earthling on the beach. Daisuke, I have a new debt to pay. Save your strength, Koji. That landing seems to have shaken you up. It's mostly this blazing sun that's been beating down on my head. I'm going to take a look at the terrestrial flying object. Stay in the shade. Wow, you've got skills. It's strange, I didn't know that a space prince knew anything about repairs. Plunge your hand into the sand now. Oh. See? I also happen to know that wet sand protects you from the sun. Huh? We had beaches like this on fleet. And also fish in shells? You see, we aren't so different. Daisuke, we should go. This volcano is a threat to the whole region. Are you feeling up to it? If the TFO is ready, then so am I. All right then. In that case, let's get out of here. So that's what's responsible for this whole mess. Let's go, Daisuke. That saucer beast owes me a second round. Rescue the victims first, before they are engulfed by the lava. Shoot in. Daisuke, go! 